IML. This is a kid who means business. It's going to be a tough one for Paul Glenn. Yeah, it's going to be a really tough one for Paul Glenn here. And you're watching the Iowa High School State Wrestling Championships presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau and a sole title sponsor of the Iowa High School Athletic Association. Iowa Farm Bureau is proud to champions Iowa's youth and all they have to offer this great state. Zachary and Glenn just underway at 120 on mat five. The other matches are 106 on three, 106 on four, and 113 on mat six. And those team races, those bonus points that Bettendorf just picked up, you see so many times, Mark, too, the other team that has, like, Southeast Polk has seven on the championship side, so you think they're favored, but maybe their matchups aren't so good, and they're not scoring bonus points, they're not winning big. Well, these advancement points in this round are huge within the team scores, so bonus points are always a help, big help, when it's a close title, or it's a close race for the team title, but he's just getting through this round alone is big for the team race. If you're just joining us and you've seen the scoreboard, the MT stands for mat. So if you look at the numbers below, vertically below that MT, that's the mat that you're watching. The WT is obviously the weight, the bout, which means nothing to the people at home unless you've printed off your bout sheet and you're following. That's for us to figure out. The score, obviously, 5170. Oh. And then the CLK is the clock, and the PR is the period that that particular match is in. A win for Allison Mark on mat number four there at 106. It looks like Pullmeyer takes care of business on mat six. So that was mat four for Allison, sorry. So Pullmeyer also, they will have a rematch with Swarm, one versus two, and they moved up a weight this year to 113 to get it to Matt. And Wagner and Lara still going on mat three. When it's all Wagner, 5-1, as they get to about the minute mark. The 120-pounders have started, as we mentioned, Zachary and Glenn on mat number five. So here we'll have Nolan Hellickson and Elijah Jeffrey. Very tough wrestler from Linmar, three-time place winner. He's never reached the top of the stand, though. Linmar's great program there with Stryker. Nolan Hellickson third last year. He lost to Jacob Swarm on his way for a what he thought was going to be a matchup with Pohlmeyer in the final. Also over here on mat six, looks like moving on up to the other, onto 126. And that should be Bryce Meyer, no? That's going to be uh, Griffin and Onu? Yep. There you go. Sorry about that. Griffin and Onu at 126. Damon Griffin of Linmar, Kaz Onu of Mason City. Casano of Mason City defeated uh, Chris Walters of Iowa City West earlier today in the quarterfinals in a tiebreaker overtime match by a score of three to two. It was a big match between Walters and Ono. Griffin, a pretty tough kid out of Linmar, but up against a pretty tough task in Casano. And 26 really is just loaded. Very tough weight class. Klingon Pill, Griffin, Ono, Walters, Giafredi, Hunter Genko, Bryce Meyer. And Chase Petty were your quarterfinalists, so up and down the lineup right there. Solid 26. Wagner down there for Bettendorf at 106 pounds. Gets the win over Lara of Fort Dodge, so Bettendorf will get a, their second finalist. We got um, Wagner and Schwarm. Schwarm now. Two finalists right now for Bettendorf. And Glenn actually leading over Zachary there on mat five at 120. So, and all of their guys are at the lower weights, so it's going to seem pretty pretty bad for Southeast Polk out of the shoot unless Hellickson can get on the board here. And Waverly Shell Rock, we can't forget about them. They're in third right now, and they're pretty top heavy over there at Waverly Shell Rock. You should see my bank. It can do awesome things. Mom says it's just like the Four Seasons. Always there. Helping communities grow and be a better place to live and work. All because my bank lives here too. Live Iowa. Work Iowa. Bank Iowa. Member FDIC. Sausage pizza for $10. 
Casey's, famous for pizza. Back here at the Northwest Bank Sports Desk, Class 3A semifinal action going your way here tonight at the Wells Fargo Arena. We're at 126 in the weight class and 120, and Mark Ironside, some tight bouts going on right now uh, in these two in these four matches. Oh, well, match three and four, we don't have a score yet. Map number five down there between Zachary of Dowling and Glenn of Bettendorf. They're tied up one to one in the third period, which will escape each. And over here on mat number mat number six right now is Kaz Ono. He's He's up by a score of two, two to nothing right now over Griffin of Lindmar. He's looking to hip tilt him up here, and he does have a hip tilt. The referee should be counting those. He's starting to get down now. He does get his, he got a four count, I believe, so it should be a two-point near fall. He does get a two-point near fall. So Cazono takes a four to zero lead right now down there on mat number six, in the first period, second period of that match. Match watch over here with one minute remaining. Top, 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 uh, score tied one to one right now is between Zachary of Dowling and Glenn of Bettendorf. Another big one for Bettendorf, looking to get their third finalist already. Out of four weights, Elijah Jeffries from Lindmar was able to get a one point escape. Now he's in on a single leg right now against Hellickson of Southeast Polk. Hellickson showing some serious flexibility doing the splits right there. Right on the edge, almost out of bounds. And he also, Mark, has a serious thumb injury. Uh, like Adam Drain, we mentioned in 2A with the broken hand. Ellickson has a very bad thumb that's it, it's been bothering him. And if you know how hard it is. You have to squeeze. use that grip. And if you can't squeeze, and there he had to use it for his support to fend him off. It got lucky on the edge there. Over there across the way, mat number three. It looks like Meyer and Giafredi are Meyer right getting now started court. here, feeling each other out. Well, two to one. Meyer, the second period of that match, two to one right now in favor of Meyer over Giafredi of Indianola. Back over here at the end of the match right now, or the end of the regulation part, Glenn and Zachary will go OT. Giafredi had a good move there for a takedown, but it didn't come through for him. Meyer took control away from him, got a nice takedown. As they roll out off the edge, it's four to one now. Meyer, Glenn in on a shot, takes Zachary down for a two-point takedown. So Glenn will win in advance to the finals. Three out of wow. four so far for Bettendorf. Boy, they're on a tear. Yeah, head coach Dan Knight's got to be ecstatic right now, seeing his wrestlers move on. Yeah. This is what you want. You just feed off of each other and one after another, and that, that momentum gets such a big roll going. They still got some of the best wrestlers yet to come. Yeah, it just keeps getting better for Bettendorf. Their their horses down here just keep getting better. Well, Hudson down here from Southeast Polk, he's he's gonna have to try and answer the bell right down here, big time. Yeah, he's he's up against be a realizing. tough task here. And Elijah Jeffries, Elijah Jeffries, tough on top. Hudson chooses down. This is one of this is probably the strongest suit for Elijah Jeffries. Is his top position. He's leading one nothing. Trying to hold Hellickson down. He's going to look to try and ride for this full two minutes, that's for sure. I was kind of actually surprised Hellickson went underneath him, but when you're down one to nothing, you got to believe in your bottom position. Potentially dangerous situation there. Still Kaz Ono over here, mat number six. He's leading Griffin of Limar, five to zero. Meyer of Fort Madison. Up on Giofredi of Indianola by a score of four to two in the second period of that match. I think we'll get our first 32 pound match, and this will feature more Bettendorf. This is a Southeast Polk head-to-head uh, -head matchup, but it doesn't look like a favorable one for Keegan Shaw and Southeast Polk. He's had trouble. He's lost to Stroker every time, and Stroker just so dominant. Not too many people getting close to him. He's got a very unique style. He's, he's just rangy and long and strong, and there's not too many things he's not good at. It's 46 and 0 as a junior right now. Big matchup for them head to head. This is the only time these guys meet head to head all night. But like you said, it. And Bendorf's got to like it. Their but chances. Yeah. Are. They, they they're counting this one already before it starts being in the victory column. There's a nice shot by Freddie Stroker, a two point yeah. takedown. So quick. Well, he does a good job once he gets to that shot, keeping his head up and bringing his hips underneath him. That just head makes up. it so much easier to finish when you got your hips underneath you. Yeah, I wonder how many times Coach Knight uses that as an example. Head up, guys. And he, he's a champion from last year. He was a finalist, a runner-up as a freshman. So Stroker knows how to win. Doing a lot of big get, matches. Hellickson for Southeast Polk did get a one-point escape down here. 
And he's trying to get in on a shot on Jeffries. There's 30 seconds left to go in regulation, tied up one to one. I'm sure Jeffries thought he could ride him out. Stroke. Jeffrey had him. Freddie Stroker over there on mat number five. Vent got Bell's got a cross face cradle locked up. And he's got Shaw turned over on his back. I believe that was the fall. So Freddie Stroker gets some added wow. bonus points for the team. So. That's number four finalist for Bettendorf. So Stroker, number one in the state at 132. Doesn't take him very long. He sends Shaw to the consolation side. Southeast Pope's got to get something going here momentum-wise. Maybe Hellickson can do it. It's still 1-0. They're going OT right now. 1-1, one, one, sorry. Going into overtime. Fans, we can't make it to the Iowa High School State Wrestling Championships or watch us on television. Log on to IHSSN.com and catch us live on the internet. All IHSSN video streaming events are brought to you exclusively at no charge by the great folks at Mid American Energy. Mid American Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service with Mark Ironside, Bob Selby, Alan DeBolt. More wrestling action down here on the mats in Class 3A. Well, we have two nice matches going on. It looks like Blake Myers trying to hold off to Afraidy as time winds down, running away, and Hellickson and Jeffrey in overtime here. Good scramble situation. Jeffrey's kind of flimsy. Get in those legs. He's pretty hard. Wiry guy. Tired, hard to take down. 20 seconds to go in the first one minute of overtime. Meyer does win for Fort Madison over there over Giafredi of Indianola. Score of six to. Six to four, but actually eight to four. Two Freddy kind of went but broke at the end there and gave up a takedown. Good effort by Gia Freddy. Meyer a little bit tougher tonight. Fort Madison senior gets to the finals. And very, very tough 126 pound weight class, as we mentioned. Coming up now, just starting.